watch out for actual tree branches. Seatbelt's on. Nope. Is he gonna film me? <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Today, we pick up our trailer. Good morning, lady walking. I'm a little apprehensive about it because we don't know for sure if this is gonna happen. It's been, there's been a lot of back and forth about hitches and when we had the Xterra, they didn't have the hitch ready so they had to order it. Now we have our truck so we don't know for sure if they have the hitch but they told us they did but we're not completely sure. Like, yes, you're ready, but if not, I'll let you know. <laughs> so yeah. There's like that last minute comment. It's like, what does that even mean? Still, at the same time, it's like I have to drive an hour and a half to get to you. I don't know. I'm already nervous about driving back. <laughs> so you guys are going to be here with us for this whole thing. Well, Joe, we're going to be honest about this journey. I don't know what we're doing. What is, who said this is a good idea? And the transition into this RV lifestyle. And this is probably the biggest moment yet. To this point, it's been just all paperwork and finances um, and excitement, but now it's like, I think it's gonna hit whenever we have it back there. You ready to do this? I think so. Are you ready for this lifestyle? Do you think it's gonna be a lot different? Why do I even ask that? I guess it's gonna be different. Yeah. <laughs> It's like we have like 13 less rooms. What are you most excited about? Simplicity. Just not thinking about everything. It's like that. But yeah. I think that it's going to make us think about everything because sure. even little tasks are going to be a big deal. Like, do I want to poop in my own toilet or do I want to try and go somewhere else so we don't have to waste the space in our trailer, you know? We'll stop at a, like at a client's <laughs> office be like, oh, thanks for buying, you know, whatever. And then, <laughs> can, I, can I use your bathroom? <laughs> Pretty much, or showering, you yeah. know, do we want to waste our water? Can um, use your shower. So I think it's going to be less simple in that sense. <laughs> That's the end of that. Let's go get this trailer, guys. First meal in the RV is What's the peanut butter jelly. <laughs> Price is right. <laughs> Get your bananas. Are they looking at four years? No. <laughs> You're like a nosy neighbor now. <laughs> guys so I just wanted to record this quick voiceover and let y'all know that we ended up not getting the trailer this day long story short we showed up and the hitch didn't make it onto the shipment truck that the guy assured us it was supposed to be on so we drove about two hours pretty much for nothing uh, but they did end up put the putting the braking system in our truck so we got that taken care of and we got to spend a little extra time in the trailer so that was nice but it was quite frustrating I, I got pretty mad um, I, I did kind of overreact but it's been two or three weeks now that we've been going back and forth to this place up in Georgetown and each time it's something different and it's not something that we can control so yeah, we did leave that day a little frustrated, but we did, like I said, get the braking system in, so it's better than nothing. And the next here is part of my workout from Monday morning, um, and this is a little fitness update for you guys. I am finally back in the weight room and in the gym from my uh, my neck injury. So if you don't know, I've had a uh, non-displaced hairline fracture of my C2 vertebrae from bouldering, from rock climbing. And I've had to take about six weeks off from lifting, from climbing. We still haven't been back to the rock gym yet, but I am so very excited to be back in the gym and back lifting. So I'm going to pick up my powerlifting programming again very soon here. I'm just easing my way back into the workouts and getting a feel for all of the movements, making sure that nothing hurts my spine. To my surprise, deadlifts felt super, super easy. I worked with 185 for three sets of seven, which 
isn't quite what I was doing whenever I got injured, but I know that I'll be back up to it in probably two to three weeks or so. So I'm really excited to be back in the weight room. I just wanted to show you guys some of my lifts. I sped up two times the normal speed. I don't normally deadlift that quickly. But yeah, so I'm super excited to be back in the weight room. And then right after this clip, you guys, is us getting our trailer. So make sure and stay tuned because we did finally get it. I'm so excited. So I hope you guys are enjoying this video. Make sure and hit that thumbs up. Leave some comments below if you are excited about our RV travels. And thank you for watching you guys and I will see you guys very soon. locking tab so you can actually turn it backwards this way until you spin it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I guess I'll do this one if you don't mind. Yeah absolutely. And kind of spin it around towards you. Yeah. Make sure. There you go. Alright. Yeah. Oh. Key note. When you're taking this on or taking this off, always leave this jack down. Yeah. Right here, we're gonna leave this jack down while we're installing the the bars, okay? You wanna go ahead and back up, watch my hands and I'll guide you right underneath the ball, okay? That's a Heavy duty pitch right there. <laughs> yeah. They are, they're heavy too. Yeah. All right. All right, hold, hold your foot on the brake. Boom. Cool. That's perfect. Come on. This is your breaker bar. Okay. This is very handy to have. Is this your first RV? Yeah. Hey, you did. These rockwoods are well made. They're well made. Cool. Very easy to pull down the road. Good to know. Drop this jack up. Look how much tension that's already getting on this. You're going to hear creaking and groaning. Okay. It's just it's, <laughs> it's part got, of it. Yeah. You got metal on metal here. You got metal on metal here. It's it's totally natural to hear popping and groaning. There's no grease points on it, so. Awesome. Yes. Thank you so Rock much. Yes, Thank you. Have a good time. Yeah, we will. Okay. They were moving. They were on the brakes system. Holy shit. Holy shit. Oh my gosh. Here, I'll put my window down here. Okay. Okay. There's something behind us. Who knows? Oh, there it is. It's right there. There's somebody behind you, but whatever. I just did my first turn. Holy shit. Are you singing nervously? Yes. <laughs> We're crashing very slowly. <laughs> it's still connected. Oh, look at that. Oh, we lost the oh, back. It's causing my anxiety to be very, very high. Well, look, we're about to slow down. I kind of like that there's traffic today. Traffic every day here. I kind of like that there's traffic right now here. <laughs> You're doing good. Doing really good. Use the left lane.
<laughs> I'm so scared. Blair, what you do? It's not <laughs> I don't know what we're doing. Let us, who said this is a good idea? I don't know. You guys did. You encouraged this. Uh, we don't know what we're doing. Like 45 minutes from home? Huh? 40? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, it's like we're, we're going through all this stuff and they're like, yeah. Buy a bigger truck. Yeah, get this RV. It has two axles. Okay, we'll put everything on. Sway control, you'll be good. Oh, this truck is good. That's gonna have no problem hauling this. And then like right when we're leaving, like, good luck out there. <laughs> be careful. Very what? cautiously. Yeah. Oh God, what, what's wrong here? <laughs> we pull out and there's something already wrong with it. Yeah. People flagging us down. Like, hey. That seriously happened. That happened. <laughs> yeah. I still don't know what happened. I don't know. We were, Blair and... we were on the feeder road, not even two minutes out, and this car pulls up next to us. They're honking. They're like, hey, your water heater flap is open. Yeah. There's no shoulder. So Matt pulls over on the feeder road and was like, go check it. <laughs> He's like, I'm going to stay here. You go check it. So I walked around in the middle of the road. There's a little flappy thing that was open. I don't see anything sticking up on the side. You said it was like something on the side of it? It's like, well, it's a little flap. That... Yeah, I don't see it. Yeah. And you close it and then there's a little twisty thing that you have to twist and then flap down. <laughs> Very technical. We <laughs> won't explain it. it. Yeah, we so won't. I'm hoping that it's it's good now. <sighs> Flappy thing. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna be real with you guys about all of this. Yeah. Probably. People tell you that it's easy. Do you want do you want the rest of the facts here? Yeah. Right now still... I'm speeding up and it's like I'm galloping. It's like Yeah. So you feel, you feel I'm mean, like exaggerating, but this is what, like I feel that. Any of you right RVers or trailer people, um, Help! What, what's going on whenever we're accelerating and there's the, like a, mm, mm, like the engine's not making that noise, but we feel like this. 50 miles per hour, do you feel it? Once you get past that though and start like cruising, you know, it's like hitting that and staying at a certain speed. I don't feel it much, but whenever I'm speeding up or going up a hill, oh God. It's just not very smooth. It's like, boom, mm, boom. Mm. So, I don't, if anybody knows what that is oh, and how to fix one. it, please let me know in the comments below because we can like feel it right now. It's pretty yeah. intense. Um, Let's and I know right now. Yeah, and I don't- We need help right now. I don't want to ruin anything. Um, and if it's something that we can fix, oh, we're bouncing let right us in. know. Just... We're a hot mess right now. Both of us. I don't get nervous when I'm getting nervous. I'm just like, as long as I stay in the middle of the road, Somewhat. <laughs> I don't know. Let's just get us home. There's our home. Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna get home and just be like a mess. Hey, we would have been driving one of these though. Yeah. That would have been us. That was a good upgrade. Trying to pull all this. That was a good upgrade. Okay, just go really slow. I'll watch the hitch. She blows in the dark. Holy cow. That's where we live. Well, not yet, but yep, that will be us, you guys. <laughs>